It's been a while since I've been in one of your streams. Yes, it has. That was all I had to say. I think the people have had a sufficient letters break. Is that something that I they needed? I don't know. Something that I needed. You needed a break from them? No, I needed a break from myself. Oh, okay. Because they suck. They don't suck. Alright, well, I will not start the stream until at least 33 people show up, so... Invite everyone you know. And I know, like, two people. You know far more than two people. I know, like, two people and a single possum. Okay. <laughs> oh, well, Flustered counts as 36 people, so we should be good. Sweet. Okay, stream over. Um... Why is somebody so, already linking a YouTube video? I don't know. Let's see what it is. <laughs> what the fuck? It is 32 minutes from long. What the fuck is this? I don't like it. <laughs> like, it Stop. is 32 minutes from long. Oh, oh, wait, wait, hold on. What the fuck I is have this? problems. Oh, oh all right. shit. No. Okay. I was. I, I didn't realize I uh, had audio through my own stream. Okay. We, we no longer have that. <sighs> Tiny six. I'm quite tired. <laughs> You'll understand why in a minute. Yeah. Okay, so uh, let me go ahead and start this up, and I'll explain what the hell this is. Um, so, it was brought to my attention, I think, towards the end of February, uh, by uh, someone named P-Tux, who's like involved in the Zelda Classic community, uh, that there is a contest f for the official sixth quest. And let me explain what that means. Um, in the original Zelda, you have the first quest, and then when you beat it, or if you f name your file Zelda, you have the second quest, which is the same overworld but different dungeons. Um, Zelda Classic has a third, fourth, and fifth quest that are user-submitted and like basically voted on or whatever and then get kind of added to the database and so there's a contest to make the sixth one and this one is basically just like the as far as i can tell the rules are make it vaguely based on the same overworld but like you can add as many bells and whistles as you want and so this is a submission from someone named mitsukara who uh did another quest that i've not played but i've seen good things of and I do want to try it at some point um it's called god it panoply of something let me let me find it it's it, it has a weird name um panoply of Kalatia. um it's a highly scripted like Zelda 2 style side scrolling thing it, it looked cool though so anyway um I'm playing this because uh the contest was brought to my attention, and uh, basically, uh, Mitsukara added a bunch of extra costumes to this game, and one of the costumes added is just Bargo. And so, yeah, I don't know, I'm just going to probably switch to that costume and then see what this quest is like. And I have uh, watched this little intro thing several times now in order to test it. It is, uh, it is what it is. Meanwhile, uh, car hijacking, no. <laughs> By the way, if people can confirm that audio balance is okay, then that would be good, because uh, I had to turn this game down to, like, 10% audio. The power into five big units. That's an eight. <laughs> oh. It looked like a five. I can so, read. Yes. So I, I could probably uh I could probably skip these credits, but whatever. So um I guess whenever you want to tell your story, so uh just to, to actually lead into this, I'd like to explain that uh it was about I th what was it like 3 or 3:30 3 a.m. 
that I'm I'm just kind of like laying in bed watching an old Vine Saw stream and like probably going to go to sleep soon when I suddenly get a message uh <laughs> saying like there has been li like what what did you say like a, a car has been broken into and I'm like who's <laughs> so this, this is my introduction to the story and I will let you have it was all. like almost three it wasn't 3 30 because it was he picked me up at like 1 40 my time so, so uh, hold on. there some midnight adventures happened last night it involves uh, a car being stolen quite obviously the police <laughs> not giving a f and just deciding to follow them for no real reason other than adventure. I'm, I'm not too sure how to start this. So like, I'm just like laying in bed, getting ready to go to sleep, and my friend Michael texts me, and he's all like, Hey, do you want to get some coffee? And me, being me, decides, yeah, you know, coffee at 2am is a great idea. So I'm like, yeah, sure, come pick me up. So we went to the McDonald's that he works at, and there's just, like, some people in a car that look like they're trying to, like, take things from another car. And we don't really think too much of it. They are parked in, like, the middle of the parking lot, so it's vaguely annoying. But we, like, we're waiting in line to get our coffee. And then we realize after we get the coffee that they have just abandoned the second car. And it's just sitting there on with the keys and the ignition in the middle of the parking lot. So Michael, being a manager at the McDonald's, has like uh like traffic cones in the back of his van. So we like put out some cones and we investigate this vehicle. Also what the fuck is happening in this game? <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of weird settings you can change. I I, I, I put it in rippling <laughs> mode. It, I can make it worse. I could make it like no. this. Oh. <laughs> um. Anyways, so Jesus, this is hard to watch. <laughs> yeah, this is really bad. Ugh, I don't like this one. Oh my god. Oh. Uh. Oh no. <laughs> Oof. Okay, let's just let's just stick with this one. So, anyways, we go to investigate this car and discover that the window is, in fact, smashed inwards. The keys are in the ignition and, like, it's just sitting there abandoned. So, oh yeah, and, like, the front windshield is smashed up and there's damage to, like, the front of the, of the car and everything. It's just, it's pretty obvious that something shitty went down. So we call the cops, and we're like, hey, we got a possible, like, uh, stolen vehicle, we're not sure, like, whatever. We gave the license plate of it to them, and they just kind of are like, well, it's not reported stolen, so it's, just, it's fine. Or like, okay, if you say so. So, it just kind of... The cops just don't really care that there's... That, that was one uh, of my favorite parts of the story, the fact that you reported it and they gave zero shits. Yeah. Like, no shit, it's not reported stolen. It's because you're the, the one reporting morning. it. <laughs> like... Well, well, the person who owns the vehicle would have to report it stolen. Mm. But it's two in the morning and they're probably not awake to report it. So, yeah. So I don't know why there's an acorn. I, I don't know what most of this shit is. Like, um, if if anybody came in late and missed the explanation for what this quest is, I did not make this. Um, I'll switch to a different costume in a second. I was gonna play as a uh, Bargo just for, because you know why not. But uh, there's a shit ton of different costumes you can play as. The default is Zelda. And uh, it's like a bunch of other Zelda characters and just like random shit that people added. She just kind of took requests. Yes, I'll be Knuckles. <laughs> 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 I 
But yeah, the Beautiful. the the, uh, the weapon here is the uh, the cane of Samaria. It creates a block which you can push and then like attack to do that. And uh, with the Bargo costume, it was a uh, it was a block of cheese. Let's see. Let me let me just do. Some, oh, here's like a we'll do a Yoshi for a while. Also, uh, before you continue with the story, I have a, uh, there's like a script window open to the left of the game with, uh, it, I, I guess it like gives you hints. Um, there's a message that says, uh, let me, let me read it. Um, it is I, Impa. I can speak to you telepathically through this mysterious console tile to help you guide your journey. In Mirror Hyrule, they say that there is a cave located near many bushes on the coast of a lake. So, I don't know where that is, so I'm just going to kind of wander. So anyway, you have discovered a uh, car that has been clearly broken into, and the police do not give a shit. Go on. Okay, so us, me being the prior McDonald's manager, and uh, Michael being the current McDonald's manager... Also, don't mind me, I'm just going to casually summon in a duck. Oh. Um, Okay. We, we decided it was probably best to let the overnight manager at the McDonald's know what's going on. So we go in there and we talk to her for a bit. And as we're showing her, the people come back. So we're like, oh, okay. So we, we like, go outside and watch. And, like, we're being completely obvious. Like, they know that we're watching them. And they're just, like struggling they've got a gas can wrapped in a paper or a plastic bag that they're trying to like fill this car with gas and i i don't know why she did this but the girl that was with them decided it would be a good idea instead of just reaching in and unlocking the door to climb over the broken glass shattered window oh wow to get into the car, so and I'm the, like, do, do so, you so know they were dumb that as fuck. it would unlock? <laughs> they were so dumb! <laughs> so, yeah, the people who stole the car came back, not the cops. And, uh... So we're just kind of watching them. The girl starts, like, slamming on the windows of the car, being all like, Hurry up! You gotta hurry up! And the guy's just like doing his thing he seems like he's probably drunk mm. um by the way the, the car that was broken into was in the mcdonald's parking lot right yeah it was just in the middle of the parking lot so we're we're watching them and like our our pylons and traffic cones around the car michael's just like you better not fucking run over my pylons <laughs> So, we're watching them, and they eventually, like, take the pylons and, like, pretty much go right up to where we are and, like, throw them to the ground. And the guy just goes, like, this is the worst fucking day of my life. And I'm like, hmm, that sounds like something that a person who's being suspicious but is trying to reduce suspicion on him would say. <laughs> so we watch them drive away, and Michael and I look at each other, and we just book into the car, and we're like, <laughs> CHASE! Let's go! <laughs> Which apparently is a common thing with you two. Uh, yeah, we've done it a few times. I, I, I've not heard of this side of you before. Um, I, I can't <laughs> say I'm entirely surprised by it, but uh, <laughs> yeah, you, after you're done with this story, uh, you, if, if you feel comfortable with explaining some of the other chases that you've been on, I'd like to hear them. None of them has really been as bad as this one. This one was, like, the the one that we knew something illegal and shitty was going on. Most of the other ones were just people were being kind of suspicious, so we followed them until we got bored. There was the guy that tried to beat us up, though. I'll, I'll, talk, to, I'll talk about that one later. Um, okay, so we get into the car and we, like, take a... We, we take, like, the long way around the block to, like, try and find them, and we so see them stopped at a red light, and they're in the right lane with their left blinker light on, trying to, like, turn left in the right lane, and we're like, guys, no, you can't do that. And then they just suddenly, with no warning whatsoever, just decide that they are now going straight and through the red light, because why not? So what am I looking for again? So, Cave located near many bushes on the coast of a lake. This might be the lake. Oh, there's just there's wind now. 
so good. And it's the wind is pushing my Balrogs through walls. <laughs> is this a dungeon? No, it's a key. <clears throat> oh. Oh god, why? I have half a heart, let's go. I'm guessing I can't fight this. <laughs> Surprisingly, I could not fight it. I need to figure out what the hell I'm doing. Uh, if the chances of someone having already played this quest and being in my chat is pretty low, but if that is the case, uh, I will, I, I will take advice. <laughs> so anyway, car chase. Yes. So we see them like pull into like this hotel parking lot. And um, there's like, uh, so it's laid out, so there's like a hotel and like a area beside the hotel. And then in front of it is the restaurant and bar. So we parked by the restaurant and bar so that we could like kind of see what they were up to. And they were just kind of like talking with somebody from like a third party car. And I'm just like, okay then. And... Eventually, Michael's all like, okay, if we're gonna keep doing this, we need to go and get gas. So we head to the gas station across the street where we can still see them. And then, while he's getting gas, they, like, uh, they leave the parking lot and, like, pull in back behind the building. So he's all like, did they move? Did you see them? I'm like, yeah, they went behind the building. So we go and we, like drive past and they're just kind of like parked there and they're all standing outside and they keep trying the door to the hotel but they're just like they just can't get in and i don't know what their plan was for that they just like i swear they stayed outside this hotel trying the door for like 20 minutes before leaving and i'm like i like we have no idea why and, like, when they were getting back into the car, they were, like, crouch-sneaking to get into the car. <laughs> clearly, uh, <laughs> like, clearly not being seen at all. <laughs> right? I'm like, you guys look hella suspicious. Like, what the fuck? And at this point, they already knew you were watching them, right? Or was that not until later? Well, well they probably didn't see us follow them, mm. like, from the McDonald's. Yeah, this is Lost Woods. Because, like, we, we waited quite a bit to actually, like, make the turn and follow them, and, like, we... They didn't seem to notice that they were being followed. Or if they did, they were really bad at trying to chase a trail. Because we found them multiple times. <laughs> um... So, yeah. And then they just kind of, like... We, we followed them a little bit down to... Um down to a house and they just kind of like park in the driveway and we're like okay and then like we we park across the street from them and we're like do you think we're like witnessing like a break and enter or something like what's going on and then we hear this like kind of muffled bang and michael's just like oh, what if that was a gunshot and i'm like I don't think that was a gunshot. It better not have been a gunshot. <laughs> yeah, and so th this was the point where I was concerned, because I was getting a play-by-play -play of what was going on through <laughs> Discord, and I just hear, we heard what might have been a muffled gunshot, and I'm like, and you're still there. This seems like a problem. <laughs> oh, it's fine. At this point, we got a text from the McDonald's manager saying that the police were there. And we're like, okay, well, we'll go give all of this new information to the police. And so we went back to the McDonald's, which was, like, less than a block away, and the police were just gone, and we're like, okay, great, sure. Just leave, whatever. If we get a call in the morning saying that a vehicle has been reported stolen, you're fucking welcome. <laughs> <sighs> and so I was like, well, do you want to go home, or do you want to, like, keep watching the house? And he's like, let's go fucking scare them. And I'm like, okay, that sounds fun. Oh so we God. go and we park, about like... This part. Oh, wait, no, I Yeah, did. you did. I thought, the, I thought the gunshot was after you parked outside their house. No, there's two instances of parking outside their house. Mm, this time we went and we parked directly in front of the house. And they start, like, so looking far. out through the windows and shit. And, like, they're obviously, like, fucking panicking. It's hilarious.
So, yeah, and nothing really happened after that. They kind of just looked at us through the window a few times, and there was one point where they, like, I don't know if they were trying to lock the car, but they, like, the, the car that they had pretty obviously stolen, they just kind of, like, pressed the button on it a couple times, and, like, the lights flashed, and then all the lights in the house went off, and we are just like, huh, that was weird. And we left a like, couple minutes after no activity, because we got bored. <laughs> that was that late night adventure. Yeah. <laughs> it was, uh, not anything that I was expecting to hear about at that time of night. Not that you were expecting <laughs> for it to happen. Yeah, not really. <clears throat> I really just wanted some fucking coffee and to, like, bitch about shit at work. And then all of that happened, and I was all like, yeah, adventure! Yeah. There could be spiders. Okay, I don't know why I would want to be on this screen, but okay. I'm, I'm still just trying to find anything to do. <laughs> so far, that has uh, not really happened. Also, is Wario... Okay, I was about to say, is Wario just immune to taking damage? But no. Hi, I'm Daisy. Uh, why not? Doogie. Luigi. Okay, I'm just gonna frickin' reset again. Um. Yeah, I I would like to know where to go. Um, I know, I did get a letter to show somebody. I've seen a few caves with random people that haven't actually said anything, so maybe I just have to go back to one of those. <laughs> Ernie just turns into a black hole. <laughs> yeah, 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 everything's bad. Oh, God. Um, I am not a secret Daisy or Peach main because I am fairly, uh, like, public about the fact that I am a Daisy man. I just casually walk into that. Hey, remember before we started the stream, if you asked me what I wanted to make tea <laughs> we, before we started? Yes. I want to make tea now. <laughs> Alright. It's fine, I'll res No, I mean, you can make the tea, it's fine. Yeah, this, but uh... last time I made tea in the streamer, people yelled at me. <laughs> well, you also made tea during the final video of Link's Awakening, and people had to deal with that, so it's fine. <laughs> Did I? I forgot about that. Yes. Half of my personality is just making tea. The other half is apparently going on strange adventures. <laughs> it's not even half, that's like a quarter. Yeah, I know. I'm surprised I've never told you about any of my late night adventures. I don't think you have. Where the fuck did you come from? Seven. Seven, okay. The hell is fry sauce? Is fry sauce a thing? Your silence says it all. I don't use sauce, so I don't know. So here's the- I still don't know what's up with these acorns. Like, every time I Boy, get- Boy, this is really expensive. Yeah. Every t every time I uh every time I get an acorn, I seem to get a defense boost for that screen only, but I also seem to have 16 of them and I don't know how to use them. Wait. Okay, I just Well, it just went down to 15, so. I see. Okay. Yeah, they they actually act as extra hits. Okay. That's cool. Um Well, here's where you normally but Oh my god. Ah. <laughs> Why are they so fucking big? Luigi's Mansion 3. <laughs> Two. <laughs> you found the game that I am the boss of. Yes. I am the final boss of Luigi in 3-2. I don't one... even remember who actually said that. I don't know. Um, one day we will continue with that game. One day, Chad Warden. So it, it, it mostly depends if, on if you. If there's a day that I don't fucking work, then sure. Yeah. So, uh, I, I guess that's another subject you can go into, is just the stupidity of work that's been going on, but, uh... Okay. 
So, back in February, um, oh, okay, so there's two receptionists at my job, and one of them was going to Hawaii for two And the other weeks. one has the same this name was... as you, right? No, that, yeah, that's her, that we both have the same name. It's kind of weird. Um. Dude. So, and, and this was before all of the, like, like, coronavirus was a thing, but it wasn't, like, a mass panic thing at this point. She, so she was all like, yeah, I'm go taking a trip to Hawaii, so I'm gonna need you to cover my shifts. And I'm like, oh, okay, great. They fortunately did hire another person, but they don't quite trust her to be there for a full day yet because she's still super new. So I've been working every single day for the past two weeks. And then she got back from Hawaii and now all the quarantining shit is there. And she's like, I'm going to need you to cover me for another two weeks at least. And I'm like, oh, okay, great. What even is a day off? I don't know. This is fine. So, I'm gonna... <laughs> it, it, what is this? What, what did I create? Is that- is that dinner? I, I think- I think it's dinner. <laughs> oh my god. And I'm My mom just asked me what I want to do tonight, and I said, I don't know, like, what, do you have anything planned? And she said, maybe something mysterious and dungeony, and I'm like, okay. Mm. <laughs> oh shit, we finally found a dungeon. Oh. It only took 25 only days. Been... It's only been... And then you just kind of make a strange noise. <laughs> what the hell are these enemies? Also, we, we we've got some uh, we've got some Tim Fallen going on in this music. I can't hear the music. Uh, but even I if you. even if you could, would you know what I meant by we've got some Tim Fallen going on? No. Okay. Wah. Wah. My mom just asked Wah. me if I'm home yet, and I'm like, what do you, the fuck do you mean? I never left. <laughs> Does she know about the adventure? No, because she was already asleep by the time I left. I will definitely tell her about it. What? Oh, okay. The fuck do I texted her and I said, home yet, I never left, and she said, lol, right, I forgot. Well, I mean, you have been having to go in, like, really early in the morning a lot, so... That's fair. <gasps> Banana bread, yes! But is it made by, uh... Krimmels? What? You know, Krimmels. No, One I... of my favorite, like, my mom texting me stories was, like, when I was in high school, and she texted me around, like, 6 p.m., and she was all like, Um, it, it is time for you to come home now. I am getting impatient. And I'm just like, Mom, I've been in the basement since school ended. Like, the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. Not knowing, oh, I fully uh, plan on telling my mom about the adventure. I tell her everything. She would find it amazing and also think the cops are stupid. I like my exploding duck. <laughs> so yeah, basically I just I have the option to just control this duck using the mouse and drop bombs. And I, I, I enjoy every part of this. Not sure if I'm supposed to be here right now. <laughs> Stupid ass beer flu. If that's what we're beer culies. What is beer culies? Uh, it's a How I Met Your Mother reference. Okay. So, I'm debating if I want to. Uh, 
retell my non-story that I told the uh, Discord chat last night because uh, basically I am sick to death of hearing about the fucking coronavirus stuff and so I don't really want to talk about it myself, but I was, like, asked to. Eh. <laughs> Um, it's not about Beanie Babies, but I can tell one of those also. Um, I thought that there was a path down from there. But anyway. I'm just surprised that my clinic is still open. Yeah, that is weird. Because we, our practices mostly involve, like, touching people. And by mostly, I mean entirely. Yeah. Well, and, like, one of our massage therapists, her boyfriend is, like, auto- or immunocompromised or whatever. That sounds like a problem. Exactly. <laughs> but, yeah, she said because of that she's probably gonna, like, stop working for now. Starting, like, she'll finish off, like, this week and then she'll stop. Is that one Don't of you fucking dare with the Dr. Lori smut! God damn it. Um, <laughs> is, uh, is her taking time off going to force you to have even more hours? No, um, she's a massage therapist, so, okay. like, it's not like I'm doing her job for her. No, they'll have to train you on it. <laughs> I wouldn't mind that. First, you will become Australian, and then they will force you to do all what? the work. What? The Australian part is a necessary process, part of the process. Oh, uh, okay. The hell? I have also been officially dubbed the, uh, get rid of spiders person of the office. Do you just pick them up? Well, there is a spider and, like, all three of the massage girls started screaming. And I'm like, what? What is going on? And, like, Jess, who's, like, the other person who would probably be absolutely fine to touch a spider, wasn't there that day. And they're just like, Craig, can you come deal with this? And he's all like, uh, no. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, for fuck's sake. So I just kind of, like, scooch the spider onto my hand and take it outside, and they're all screaming as I do this. And I'm like, you guys, you fucking chill, it's a tiny-ass spider. women. Am I right? <laughs> Can we not push the block? What the fuck? <laughs> what, what, is, fine. what the hell is this? Okay. So wait, was I supposed to push it there? Or no? I guess I was just supposed to notice... Okay. I don't know. This game is weird. It, it's, it's probably uh, the fact that I am uh, not even remotely used to playing any Zelda Classic quests that have, like, scripting and new features that is throwing me off, because this is doing a lot of stuff that I don't know about. I have chocolate. What? I have chocolate. I thought you said couch quarter. <laughs> what? <laughs> like, finding a quarter in the couch. Do you even have quarters? Yes, we have quarters. There's a caribou on them. I mean, I you you apparently don't have one dollar bills. How was I supposed to know? Well, no, but we have loonies. Yeah, but that's a kern. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay. Suddenly, side scroller. Oh yeah, they did get rid of pennies, didn't they? So how does that work then? Like, um, does every price have to end with a five or zero? No, but it's rounded up. So if you like your total comes out to nine fifty three, it's rounded up to nine fifty five. Mm. Do people bitch about that? No. Surprised only. The fuck is going on? Oh, I did not Probably expect the bat something. to be an item. Oh. And it, uh, it travels exactly one plank length in front of me, and then that's it. What the hell even is this thing? Oh, I have to hold the button. 
that uh, did not answer my question. I still don't know what the hell this thing is. Um, Maybe it's the boomerang, but not? I think there was an item in that cave that I wanted. Now I have to figure out where that was again. So anyway, I don't have really much of a story involving coronavirus stuff. Um, I was asked, like, how my job has been affected, and the answer is it hasn't really. Um, try a different... Uh, maybe. Let me, let me I'll switch to a different character, because, um... When I, uh, when I submitted the Bargo tiles for this, um, I was basically told that, uh, like, you needed to have, uh, character sprites, and then you needed to have something for the, uh, the block, the Master Sword specifically, the Triforce, and if there was one other thing, um, Sword Beams, except Sword Beams are only usable by a second player, because yes, this game does have a second player, apparently. Oh, you can just kind of steer this wherever. That's interesting. Um, so yeah, basically, uh... Nobody really wants to hear my opinion on the outbreak because it's an unpopular one. I, I, I'm one of the assholes that basically thought that it was not going to be a big deal and then it turned out to be a big deal, and it's like, well, fuck me, I guess. Um, and it's like... What the hell? Okay. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, it's like, I, I figured it would just kind of blow over, and then it just kind of got worse. I, I, I can't think of words. Words are difficult. I, I like how I'm just completely incapable of, like, talking while playing today. It's almost as if I've been doing this kind of shit for, like, 12 years. But, um... So, yeah, basically, one day at work, uh, like, every everything's going normally. Like, there was never any kind of difference in, like, oh, like, these are the new policies. You have to, like, be careful with handling stuff, blah, blah, blah. And then... Just suddenly one day, my manager sends this group text message to everybody with, like, this massive amount of fear-mongering, and it's like, this virus is bigger than we all thought, and it is required that all employees wash their hands every ten minutes, which I have a, uh, I have a problem with this because I can't really leave the table to wash my hands every ten minutes, and it's not like I'm touching anything in between, so that's just kind of stupid. But, um, and then they're like, you have to disinfect the phones after every use, and that makes no sense to me. Um, there we go. Just a bunch of really stupid shit like that, and the, uh, the text message also just, like, she posts this gigantic wall of text that's talking about, like, all these different safety regulations and stuff that it's like, oh, if you, it, like, if you have the, if the virus is in your mouth, you can drink warm water to wash it down your throat and it'll be killed by, vi like, stomach acid, but it has to be warm water specifically. And I'm like, if the fucking virus is in your mouth, you're gonna already be sick. Like, it would have entered your bloodstream by then. What the fuck is this? But, um... So, I don't know, just a bunch of stupid nonsense like that, and so it's just, that's kind of the new policy, is just be more careful, and uh, that that's really about it. They closed the lobby, but we still have the drive through and uh, delivery, so not really much has changed, uh, and they also got rid of all of Martin's hours for some reason, but only his. I, I, I could use an extra day off, but now... Nah, let, let's be honest, I don't need the extra day off, because 
apparently when I have a day off, I don't know what to do with myself. <laughs> Same. Wait, when did I get the piece for this? Oh my god, this quest is confusing. And these are blocks, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was officially announced a uh, national emergency in Saskatchewan, like yesterday. Mm. Because, um, what's it called? Um, our number of presumed cases is up to 16. I don't know how many There's... we have. There's only two confirmed cases, but there's, um, there's, like, 14 that are, like, maybe, you know. Nice. But, like, they do the testing here, and if, like, it's, like, they might have it, they have to send it to Winnipeg to finish the testing. All I've heard about I the testing is that, like... It's hard to get it. They don't have, like, enough people available to do them, so... Uh, as far as I know, I could be carrying it. Because apparently that's a thing, to just kind of have it and not have any symptoms. Yeah, I've heard that you can't actually spread it to people without having symptoms, though. It's not like a cough or flu that you can okay. just be a carrier of for, like, years or whatever. Okay, so here's the thing about Animal Crossing. Um, it comes out tomorrow, and I would like to play it, but I don't know if that's ever going to be an option in the near future, because I really wanted to get my own Switch first, and I kept telling myself that I shouldn't get a Switch until I file my taxes for this year, because um, with Patreon, you don't have taxes automatically deducted. You have to pay them all yourself. And when I did that last year, I ended up owing like 1200 bucks, And that was after offsetting the amount of money that I owed with like the tax return from both like mine and Martin's Pizza Hut tax return, which is a lot of fucking money. So like... I didn't want to. I didn't want to buy anything expensive until I knew for sure how much money I'd actually have to spend, and I kept putting off doing them. And then a few days ago, I finally decided, like, okay, let me actually do this now. But uh, so I go onto TurboTax and start to, to work on it, and then oh, I guess that was the end of the dungeon. Um, there were dark rooms in that dungeon that I didn't explore. That uh, seems like something that I should do, but I'll worry about that later, I guess? I don't know. Um, yeah, it's like I started doing it, but then I find out that you have to have, like, a paid account in order to do self-employment taxes or something, and it, uh, I don't know, it, it I, I need to basically get assistance with it, and I was going to do that today, but, uh, instead I'm doing this. Oh. But, uh, that also raises the question of, uh, like, would I even be able to get a Switch and or the game? Because, like, I keep hearing that, like, supplies are low due to manufacturing issues due to the virus and all that stuff, so I have no idea. I will try to get it if I can, but I'm probably not going to be getting it right away. And you said you're probably just not going to be getting it at all, right? Ugh, somebody buys it for my birthday. I don't want to switch light because I wouldn't be able to stream from that. Speaking of streaming from things, you need to get an HDMI cable. This is true. Except again, I can't. Because everything's closed, or...? Yeah, pretty much. Hmm. Everything that's non-essential here is pretty much closed. Except for your massage place. Well, we are healthcare. True. Like, chiropractor falls under healthcare. Anyway. 
And it's not like we're not caring about it, we're doing, like, a lot of, like, measures to prevent things. Right. Like, we're limiting appointment times, we're sanitizing everything, and all that kind of good stuff. D do you, uh, desert texture is real good. Yeah. Do you, uh, do you dip somebody in just a giant vat of sanitizer before they, uh, before they get worked on? Yeah, definitely. Cool. I don't know why the P-hats are upside down. This is supposed to be, like, a mirror of Hyrule, so a lot of the enemies are, like, f kind of flipped or doing things they don't normally do, so I guess that's just the gimmick on the P-hats is they're just upside down. Oh my god, why? I think I need, like, iron boots or something, because I've seen a couple screens like this with the wind pushing you. Um, how much toilet paper do I have? I think, like, five rolls. We were actually super good on toilet paper, but because before all of this, we grabbed some at Costco. So, we're, like, good for at least a month. <laughs> The toilet paper is st still the serious, like the stupidest fucking thing. I, I just. I think the stupidest one is bananas. Like those don't last. I didn't realize people were hoarding bananas. They are here, and I'm not sure why. Every store I've been to, there have been just no bananas. Yeah, that's a new one for me. Um. Uh, Coach B, you are. Uh, not necessarily supposed to be Big Dip, you can just kind of switch between a bunch of different costumes. I don't know who a lot of these people are, they might be OCs. Um, I will play as Moosh. Yeah, I heard about that guy. So, um... I, uh... I did go to the store with Joel a few days ago. Oh, speaking of bananas, what the fuck? <laughs> okay. Um, but yeah, we went to Target because, um, it was one of my days off and I was just like, you know, we have no food in the house at all, and if everything shuts down, we should probably have some food in the house. Um, and so we, we ended up going and, um, I was kind of expect like, I had heard the previous day from my mom that she, like, sent my sister to the store to pick up ten different- the hell? God, what's this gonna be? This is interesting. Oh, the white ones are bad. I can't tell if I want those dark rupees. No, I don't. Anyway, yeah, she sent uh, so she sent my sister to go to the store and uh, pick up like ten different things, and apparently they only had two of those things at the store. Man, I suck at this game. I am very, very bad at this. I'm gonna fucking die from this game. <laughs> My brain does not work today. So yeah, we go to the so we go there. I'm ex I actually died from the game. Um, Good. That was bad. We go there and um, the bread and pasta and soup are all completely sold out. Pretty much, there was like. There, there's some lasagna noodles, because making lasagna is kind of difficult and annoying, so I guess no one wanted to make that. And there was, like, one loaf of cinnamon toast. And that was it. <laughs> um, they still had tortillas, though, so I'm like, maybe we can make taco stuff, but they didn't have any ground beef, so we couldn't do that. But they actually did have a surprising amount of stuff left. Um, I keep hearing that, like, it's impossible to find milk, but they had a complete stock of that, so maybe we just got Yeah, lucky. at our Walmart, um, there was, like, signs on the door that said limit of one milk per customer, and I'm like, but milk doesn't stockpile. Milk goes bad. Yeah. I mean, I also am hearing that people are, like, stockpiling, uh baby formula, even if they don't have babies, because you can make that into milk. And people who have babies are like, dude, what the fuck, we need that. Yeah. Also, I'm liking how Moosh here is making the fucking 
like Minecraft beta damage noise. It, it <laughs> I know you can't hear it, but it's uh, it's pretty good. Uh, what the hell does the fishing pole do? Uh, I'm tired. Late night adventures are stupid and fun. I, uh... I do not know what the fishing pole does or how you use it. I do not know what it is, but the a feature apart. Yes. Ooh! I can have ten acorns if I want. Who says I can't? Oh. What are you? But yeah, I don't really have any other interesting stories to tell. Um, <laughs> are, are you looking at the chat? Vaguely. <laughs> oh my god! Bagged milk is only in Quebec. I mean, I don't think that's really common knowledge, necessarily. But, I mean, I'm sure up there it probably is, but for us uh, ignorant Americans, it, Canada is, like, it, it's and everything in it's the same. I could talk about Dr. Lori because she fucking is up to no good again. <laughs> and a few days ago, I was going to uh, actually do a video bitching about her and, like, have a guest in on it, but, uh, it didn't happen because squirrels gnawed through an attic. That is actually the reason. <laughs> it was pretty oh, good okay. shit. Yeah, let's, uh, do a different costume. Dr. Lori traced her finger across no. inch the inch more... <laughs> hard, because why not? No, I, I know Moosh is from the Oracle games. That's a big rock. Can I blow it up? No. Actually, hold on. Let me uh, let me switch to the different duck here. Because the, uh, there's an automatically moving duck that apparently just drops in explosives randomly. Like, <laughs> yeah. It uh, apparently does not drop them in very frequently. I don't really want that. Let's see, what else can I do? Um, this actually sounds like something that would be useful. Um, sure, why not? Uh, I would like to summon a partner, but I cannot. I mean, I can, but no one would be able to play as it. Confuting, confusing item graphics. Sure. Uh, here, let's just make everything awful. No, let, let's not. And say we did. I will I'll make it slightly awful. Oh yeah, this is Phantom Hourglass music. I forgot that that's what this was from. Mmm, doesn't this look nice? Oh yeah, we can play with with uh, Atari Adventure graphics. <laughs> oh my god. Ah. Uh, no, no, thank nope, you. Nope, nope, gotta do it. <clears throat> it's got the Fuhoko God sprite. <laughs> if you continue to play like this, I'm going to read out whatever the fuck Yoshi just wrote about Dr. Lori and seductively whispering. Oh no. <laughs> no, no dodgy game. So the, uh, the most recent hint in this quest was, uh, somewhere is a cave with many Octoroks, but they say some Octoroks don't get along with others. Um, 
that doesn't tell me where this cave would be, so that doesn't really help me a whole lot. Um, and then, a kindly old man who hides near a dock, he knows the secret of level B's entrances. I, I guess I can vaguely keep an eye open for that. What the fuck is this? It is a Guma, apparently. Man, this perspective I, I don't is. Care for those. Yeah, the perspective's a little weird. Wow. <laughs> no? No, we can't get rid of these? I will LP the Sword Quest series and win a prize! Ugh. Everything's sad. Oh, those are shovel rocks. Well, I guess I have to go get a shovel then. Uh, I know where a shop is that I can get one, but it was far away and I don't have enough money for it currently. I've never watched Spongebob. I couldn't remember if you have or not. I seem to remember you saying that. I uh, believe my response last time was, uh, that is a shame, but you're not really missing out on that much. I like, know. It is good for the maymays. Let's wake up a whole bunch of armor. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Fuck you. Wait. <laughs> Does he. Usually that automatically deducts money. Is this actually money? Yes. Okay. So he's full of shit. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. 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 Why do they leave behind conveyor belts? Yeah. Up, oh, stuck in a wall. <laughs> I mean, putting sweet corn on a pizza doesn't upset me. I, I see nothing wrong with that. Pizza in general upsets me. Yeah, but you're weird. Yeah. Pineapples are also good. Anchovies are probably not. I've not had them, but I don't really ever want to. Insert reference to 1077 here. I like that those holes just kind of look like craters to the abyss. Craters to the abyss? There are times where I may say things that I do not personally believe to be true. Oh my god. Yes, I don't like pizza. Leave me alone. It's not even that weird. It's unusual, but it's, I mean, you're, it, it's not like there's anything wrong with having that opinion. I, I, I was not upset by it in any way. A lot of people in the chat are calling me a heretic. <laughs> yeah. Well, people are dumb. I also don't like cheese. Let's throw that one out there. <laughs> I mean, that's the reason why you don't like pizza, right? No, I just don't like pizza because I don't like pizza. <clears throat> Wait, since when do I not like McDonald's? Like, it's fine for what it is. It's not high cuisine, but... No, he's saying that if you didn't... Uh, okay. I don't even work at McDonald's anymore. <laughs> but you did, and therefore you still do. And it's your entire identity. Oh. Well, I mean, really, your entire identity is Cliff Bushes, because that's what people know about. But... <laughs> Fuck. Oh, God, the Cliff Bushes. Why am I still playing as Picard? Oh. <laughs> No. Here, let's do whatever this song is. It's the same song, but not. Anyway. The whole reason I know about this quest is because of the Big Dip skin, so we're gonna switch back to that one. 
I would say that I don't like eggs, but that's not entirely true. I'm just allergic to eggs. I did not see the reference to me in the RPG. I don't even remember what the reference was. Did we see it in the stream of it? Because that whole thing was made before we were, like, a thing. So, I don't know. <laughs> I love the cliff bushes. <laughs> I like the, uh... The fact that it sounded a lot more dramatic than it really was. I was like 12, give me a break. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> I forgot about that. Oof. Okay, so this shop is, uh... I, I would like this hammer. I would like it here, but uh, I cannot afford it. So what I will do is, uh... I will just continuously dig until I get enough money. It won't be annoying at all. I I'm not gonna actually <laughs> do that. What the hammer, what the chain, in what furnace was thy brain? Excuse me? Scripture? You quoting scripture? <laughs> a buried tree root at a dead end that. hides an entrance to level A. Just an entrance to level A? Because I've been in there. Uh, there's not really much to say about Not Prawn. I uh, did get a comment on a video recently of somebody who says they beat level Lambda, and they were willing to give me a hint, and I have not yet seen su said hint. No, this is a crayon. What? I'm calling the police! <laughs> what, what, what is being quoted here? It's a, a vine, don't worry about it. All right, well, I, uh, suppose I have some amount of fast travel now. Okay. I'm never going to remember what any of those locations actually were. Well, yeah, I, I'm on level Lambda, and I don't know how to get past it, is, is the thing. And, yeah, the remote viewing level is, like, the one after that. From what I've learned, the police don't give a fuck. <laughs> what is that flashing bird flashing for? Is he the police? Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't necessarily mind that, but it doesn't exactly make for the most thrilling of streams. So, uh... uh okay. No good. <laughs> God damn it. Uh -oh. Is this like uh we're gonna play a couple different Z quests or are we just this doing this, this, this was the only one I had planned. Um But uh I'm having some problems with it, so Yeah, I don't know. It's, I mean, the thing is, like, it's it's well put together. I am enjoying it. It's just, it requires a lot of uh, exploration and taking time to figure things out. And, like I said, not exactly that exciting for people to watch. But, yeah, I found the uh, warp thing. I would like to try to fight the Gliok again. Will BA3 involve a Hadoo that randomly drops bombs? Uh, no, it will not. It does have a Hadoo in it, though. Now, see, I have the letter, but I don't think I can use it. God, the fucking Rudo's Womb level. Why does... I love how that always gets brought up. <laughs> you, you, you've heard the story behind that, right? 
and I don't know if I want to. It sounds scary. <laughs> The Raichu waves were glorious. Those were awful. The, the, <laughs> yeah. let, let, let's be seize, honest. Seize, they, they were the worst. Seize, 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 seize. Well, I have a key, and here's a place to use a key. I just love that that entire video was so obnoxious. <laughs> well, fuck you, dude. Uh, can I go Can't through the... Be Beat my, no, you can't. My big dip rage. I don't want to be a furry. <laughs> okay, so I have to go back to the top left corner once I have a fifth heart Always so I can pick cherry. that up. Cherry is good. Here, I have a non story. Um, I, uh,. No, no, you know what? Th this is such a non-story, it's not even fucking worth telling. Never mind. The, the story was basically just, I tried to get a drink at a 7-Eleven, and I couldn't. That was the entire story. There was more detail to it, but it, w it wasn't really worth it. Can I... Good. Good. Cherry is best. I always mix, like, a cherry and vanilla. You said you mix cherry and vanilla? Yeah. Okay, now I'm gonna have to tell the non-story. So, <laughs> um... Uh-oh. What like, have I done? I, it, it's... It'll be brief. Um, basically, the 7-Eleven that I go to has, um, has a drink machine with, like... What the fuck? This, this is bad. I, I, I don't want to be here. Um, it has a drink machine with, like, buttons that add, like, flavor. There's, like, flavored syrups that you could, like, mix in with the drink or whatever. And mm -hmm. I tried to use it, and the button just kind of didn't really do anything. And when I pressed it harder, it just kind of peed. So, like, <laughs> um, I try to ask the guy at, behind the counter, like... If it works, and I didn't know what to call it, so I called it, like, the flavor button, and he didn't know what I meant. And so I, and also, I, I should mention this guy has a very, very heavy accent, and I can't really understand him, like, at all. Um, <laughs> but, uh, so yeah, I was like, yeah, I wanted to add in, like, the cherry flavor, and I'm kind of, like, trying to explain what I mean, but I can't explain it very well, so he comes, or he comes over the counter... Um, not over, but, like, he comes around, and, uh, I point it out, and then he's just like, oh, yeah, but this way, this way, this way, this way, this way, with the Chicago, and this way, well, 98% sugar, and it seems we can't have a taste of yeah. Like, okay. That, that explains everything. <laughs> he said something about Chicago and too much sugar, and that was the reason why it didn't work. So, I, I, I don't oh. know... Cause Martin was there too, and he heard what was being said, but didn't understand what was being said. But he came to the conclusion that, like, I think in New York a while ago, a law was passed where, like, you, they put a tax on, like, sugary drinks, basically. And so maybe they did the same thing in Chicago, and... Is this the thing? Yes. Um... That might have been what he was talking about, and that's why they didn't have it. I don't fucking know. Alright. It's concerning. Where is that place I could dig to warp? Probably somewhere. Everything's like somewhere, man. I don't know what the hammer does, but uh, it's the best lead I currently have. Other than, uh, it is I, Impa. Many items will be needed to get into the entrance of level C, but once- But it was me! Dio! Bow, bow, bow. Uh -huh. Do you watch that show, or were you just memeing it? JoJo? Yeah. I've seen a bit of it. 
Ryan got mad at me because he asked if I had seen JoJo, and I said I've only seen the first season, and he just screamed, "But season two is the best!" Oh my! I'm like, okay, <laughs> chill. Where was the hammer again? Oh no, it was uh, um in a cave. Thank you, thank you, yep. Chad Warden. Yep. <laughs> Aperture science. We do what we want because we're cool. Where the hell was that one cave? Why do I sound tired? Because you're tired. I don't know. Snivy just says I sound tired. Oh, uh, was it the cave where I had to dig out the dirt? Yeah, I think so. Okay. I think I know where that is. If I don't get killed by birds along the way. Immediately gets killed by birds along the way. Yes. <laughs> Thanks, ants. Thats. <laughs> <laughs> you enjoyed that, apparently. <laughs> I found that way too funny. Have you seen the original? Like, what that's from? No. That will uh, possibly be required viewing then. <laughs> the probe probes the probe. So remember when I said yeah. I knew where that one cave was? Because I, I don't. It was that one. No, it wasn't. I don't know. I just thought that maybe if it was, then I would be right. Mm. Okay, hold on. It was... No, I don't remember where it was at all. <laughs> Blance. <laughs> it's not even funny at all. <laughs> the fucking calcic image just... <laughs> yeah. Th there were some good jokes in that. Okay. Is this just the regular... You got a oh. hammer! Oh. Oh. And it consumes that rupees. Happened. Oh. I don't know Why? if I need this, but, uh, I have it. Snaff. What was Bum Civilian again? It was, um, brown iron that was created by, like putting sulfuric acid on a block of iron, and when you're in the presence of it, it just absorbs all sound from the area. <laughs> like... Uh-oh. <laughs> Fucking bum civilian. Okay, um... Once again, don't know where the hell I'm going. Not that anything else is new. <laughs> I don't know, what was the... Um... There, there, there's a lot of weird terms for things in that show. Like, I, I think at one point a tube was called a Jane Grey. Like, <laughs> I don't know. It's a fucking weird show. Uh, I'm debating if I want to play something different. Because... I, th I feel like I need the raft or something, but I don't really have any leads on that. The Forest of Maze leads the way to a grove where I heard that fairies don't live. I bet something is hidden there. I mean, I can try that. I've been over there, but I don't think I had access to it. This is the, uh, this is the occupational hazard of playing an NES-style quest, because they're usually cryptic as hell. I have the fishing rod, but I don't know how to use it. Unless... Oh god, do I just use it by standing on a dock? 
I didn't think of that. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, what the fuck is this? This is love. Oh. This is I, incredible. Uh, this is like the fishing from Link's Awakening. Yes, it is. That is not love. That is not love. That is definitely not John Stamos giving me a blumpkin in the back of my car toilet while Mike Love watches in anticipation. It's definitely not that. Okay, sure. <laughs> well, someone said it, said it. I had to. I had to continue. <laughs> What's with the cigarette in the bottom right? Um, that is a uh, question that I am not prepared to answer. <laughs> Yeah, why is- what the hell is that? Alright, well, I now have, uh... That is a thing that I can check. I know there's more of those. <laughs> it, it is an awful quote, and that's why I enjoy it. I, I think I mentioned it in a video that I did, like, last week, too. When is more curb? Uh, I don't know. There needs to be more curb, but I. Uh, dangles Pokey's butthole. Um, That's such a short game. Oh. Oh, this follows me. Oh, God. Okay, this is the Zelda 3 Super Bomb. Uh, I don't know what to do with this. And I think if I get hit, it blows up. Do I use it over here? Immediately gets hit. Giant ghost, let's go. Let, let's take it into the fishing section. <laughs> uh, what big rock? I'm sure I've seen it, I just don't remember. Is that thing just mm. fucked now? I don't know if I can get that. If your name is Juniper Couch, you're just fucked in this world. I like how I said that. Why do these much Zoras look like Undyne? Oh god, they kinda do. No! <laughs> no! Uh, the big comfy couch oh, was a... My uh... calling! Oh, is your tea ready? <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear me put tea on? No, but you said my call. Oh, now I hear it. <laughs> oh, God. Oh! I got your face. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Everything's fine. Um. <laughs> anyway, The Big Comfy Couch was a show that, uh, was after Molly. my- It was after my time, but, uh, Jordan watched it. It was my time. And I fucking I, love that show. I, pr I only remember the clock rug and, like, pretty much just the clock rug. I remember that it was like a clown. You don't even remember like the doll. ten second cleanup? Oh god, I think I do. That, it was like just basically like this fast forwarded section of cleaning up the room, right? Yep. Ontario saying? just tried to phone me. Oh. I don't know why. Is the entire city of Cory, North Dakota going to send you an email? Probably. Okay, this was, I think, I don't know, a number one. just popped up and the name just said Ontario, and I'm like, who the fuck? Bunty. Bunty, you fucking piece of shit. Oh, and I got a voicemail from them. Perfect. I'm curious. Ontario, Canada. Ooh, a little south of the border action. Speaking of strong bad, um, after, uh, 
much deliberation, by which I mean I was asked to do this a very long time ago and just never did, I uh, finally actually made my own Steam account and uh, synced it with Martin's, and so I now have access to the Strong Bad's Cool Game for Attractive People games. Um, That's good. At some point, we should uh, check those out. I agree. Also, I just checked my voicemail, and it was just two seconds of silence, and that was it. The fuck is this? Plot twist is the people from yesterday. Okay, I don't remember if I already put sugar in my tea, but I don't think I did. Because the spoon is not wet. Did you know that uh, Patty is the sugar on your teeth? I did, and I don't know why. Huh. Uh, if I ever update Homestar Rerunner, I'll make it known. You don't need to check it every few months. I'm probably never I'll gonna update it. I'll be right back. I already miss you. Come back. What the hell? This is still level A? What the fuck is this? Uh, okay, hold on. Wah! 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 Okay, I've got options. Wah! I'm still carrying the super bomb. Hmm. Hmm. I, uh, I do not care for the things that I am seeing. Oh. Oh god, the bomb's gonna blow up, isn't it? Oh no, I can like recollect it, okay. Shit. <laughs> can I... Oh, well, I no longer have the bomb. That was 40 rupees well spent. Oh no, it's back. <laughs> Okay, I do not know what to do in this room. I'm guessing I uh, needed to come out of that staircase. Hmm. This looks, uh, natural. That yeah, looks pretty good. Coming out of the back of his neck there. Wait, are these protected from every side? Oh, these are reverse dark knots. You can only hit them from the front. That's unusual. I'm okay. What were you saying? Hello. Hello. Nothing, I'm back. Do you, how do? I don't know. How do you, how do? Har. <laughs> don't know what to ask. Everybody knows it. Everybody knows it. Everybody knows it's true. Again. Oh. Was I oh. supposed to do that? Because I don't know if I was supposed to do that. If you don't know, then probably not. I think I might have fucked this up. How dare you. I have to look for a banana bread recipe. But that requires bananas, which are currently the scarcest object in the world other than toilet paper. Honey, we have like 75 bananas in our freezer. <laughs> uh, oh. I don't know, uh... I'm not used to the types of things that I am seeing. Give it to him again, Andrew! Oh. Remember when we were uh, going through Castlevania and then I just kind of stopped? Did you ever watch the yes. whole series? What? I wouldn't watch it without you. I, I mean, it would, be, it would be fine if you did. 
I did, because season three is coming out. Okay. Actually, it's already out. Oh. Have you watched season three also? I actually have not yet. I have not had a chance. I will make an attempt to actually watch season two. I, 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 I like, kind of forgot that we were doing that, honestly, because we never talked about it. Yeah, there was one night where I was homesick, one of those nights, and I just kind of did the whole thing. Mm. Because I was watching to catch up to you, and then I just kind of kept going. That's fine. You should have told me you were watching it, though. I forgot. Plus, I didn't want to, like, make you watch it, because I couldn't tell if you are really that into it. Eh. It's not something I would have uh, decided to check out on my own, but I didn't not like it. Alucard Bay. God. Do I have the master key for this? I apparently do not. Uh, freezing bananas doesn't really what work for fuck? if you want to eat them normally, but if, like, you're making banana bread, it's better to freeze them. I like where this is going. Mm. <laughs> I like that your bat is now a fairy. I believe it is a Patra. Oh. <coughs> Wow. Well. So, uh, why is the, like, gelatinous ghost of Patrick an enemy here? <laughs> gelatinous cube. What the fuck? Um. <laughs> I don't know. Is this a Link to the Past enemy? I don't remember it. Where the hell in the game was it? I don't remember this at all. Also, how is this still level A? This very clearly is not. And where the hell is Frank Stallone? Uh... Uh... Ha ha, he is the problem. Okay. You must now do the rest of the stream in the Flavio voice. Oh my god, no. I, 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 I already I... failed. Yes. You have a phone call on line two. Did you want to tell one of your other uh, late night adventure stories? Uh... I guess. I don't know which one to tell. I mean, I don't know how many interesting ones there were. There was the one that you briefly told me about last night, but that one uh, got a slight bit in a pro pro. Only slightly. I don't know. None of our late night adventures really amounted to that much other than doing something until we got bored. Mm. This is the one that has actually been the most exciting. There was the one time that we were driving outside the city with Bailey and like we almost hit like a family of deer that just decided to run across the road. I and see. Michael had to, like, slam on the brakes and, like, a ceiling fan in the back of the van hit Bailey in the arm. Uh, okay, say that again. <laughs> yep. <laughs> um, he slammed on the brakes and there was a ceiling fan in the back of his van that, like, went forward and hit Bailey in the arm. Good. After that, we yelled at him to clean out his van, and the next time he picked us up, the van was clean. <laughs> that was, like, back when we were first- were, like, I was first friends with them. 
I mean, I figured as much because Bailey moved away, right? Yeah, she moved away in June, I believe. I like how I do vaguely know various things about these friends and, like, and trying to kind of keep track of who all of them are, but I don't always succeed. We don't have that many friends! I mean, you have more than I do, so... It is a, it is a non-zero number. <laughs> This is, a uh, okay. That was all for a heart. Good, I'm glad I did it. Excuse me. I mean, I, I think I see what I can do here. Oh, that just instantly fucking drops. Okay. Oh. I, I thought I would have time to get out of the way of it. Uh, Mason, you have something you want to share with the class? The hell, like, where, where, what, what triggered that? Okay. <laughs> it's true that it's a meme, but sometimes it's hard to tell if people are serious or not. Just do this. Okay. D does this protect me? No, it does not. Okay. <laughs> Oof. Who would have thought that uh, putting a block on top of my head and then having another block fall onto it at the speed of light would not uh, would not save me? I think we, uh, I think we might, oh, no, no, sandwich, okay. I was gonna say, I think we might be, uh, coming up on a point where I might just kind of be done playing this for now, but, uh, I, I, I kind of want to keep going with it, but I know I'm not gonna finish, like, the whole game, obviously, so I don't know when the, like, best stopping point would actually be. Cause it's hard to tell if I'm even capable of doing this area right now. Wait, don't I have the key? No, I don't. It was in the room with the... I mean, I have to leave in about an hour, so... I suppose I could go another hour, then. What will I play instead? Uh, TJ Birkenbake's... L Lester Venture. No. That was a series of words that was just said from my mouth. What is that? What the fuck is this? Why? Mm. Okay, well, I can't do this screen, and I'm not sure why. I don't care for this. I am confused. Yes, I am. Can I get fairy? Can I get fairy? Okay. I can has fairy. <laughs> the uh, the room where everything is H was pretty great. Uh oh. Do you guys remember when like memes were books? Yes. I like I had the I can has cheeseburger cat meme book. <laughs> I have, uh, I have the Alphabet of Manliness from Maddox, and I also have the, uh, Hyperbole and a Half book. I don't know if either of those count as meme books. Unclear. This is a very strange room, Bobby. <laughs> is that a pair of pliers? the fuck?
What is... Oh, it's just a Pona. Oh. Okay, that's kind of adorable. Okay. But... I, I, but I, what? I don't know what why, this does. Why is your horse going up a ladder? I don't know what this does. <laughs> but... Okay. <laughs> I... The sprite is fucking adorable, though. Holy shit. game is weird. Alright, so... Why did you find a horse in a dungeon? <laughs> These are the questions that we should be asking. Maybe the Just... horse can get you through the thing you couldn't before? Maybe? I don't know why, but... I, I, I don't... I don't know! I thought Epona might be able to jump, but I didn't seem to have that option. No, don't fucking drop the bomb. Wait, hold on. Oh, I think this might be Pegasus Boots. I have to, uh, uh, I have to potentially lose this bomb. Damn. But, uh, yep, it is. I think I'm gonna have to say goodbye to my bomb. Um, if I leave it here and come back, will the timer? Like, still be active. Yes. Okay, let me give it a few seconds and. <clears throat> give it a few seconds and a strange noise. Same. I like when you just agree to things that don't make any sense. I've been up there, right? Yeah. Who the fuck designed this room? Like, why Why are the... First of all, how are these enemies getting fed into here? And t for what reason? Oh yeah, so, so what's the deal with... Vinny and Joel having like, dog characters in some kind of Australian kids show now? What? That's apparently a thing. D does anyone have an explanation for it? No. <laughs> like, did they get permission? I'm assuming it, one or both of them have commented on it at this point, but fuck, I need a key. God, I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there was this thing on Twitter the other day. Um, oh, let me let me actually show this off because it was fucking weird. Um, you do. Yeah. Wait, no, this is the wrong monitor. Shit. Here we go. Oh, 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 that's a pigeon. Okay. Um, oh. <laughs> I, I did not mean to click on that. There's raccoons. Where's the... Uh, here's uh, L at at K strut the rooster beanie baby rare fabric dye area yellow pink barn bird. I liked that one. Um, but yeah, yeah, Bluey Season 2, whatever this is, some Australian sh kid show just has dogs that are just Vinny and Joel for some reason. And I don't know why. <laughs> okay. I, uh, I, I would like to hear their response to this, and if they knew about it beforehand. I'm, I'm very confused.
There was once a point where I was playing a game, and I think we've passed that point long ago, and now I'm just kind of existing in a nightmare. Yeah, I'm assuming they know. That, that's why I'm saying, like, I, I don't really watch most of their stuff, so if they have commented on it in the recent stream, like, I haven't watched anything recent anyway, so... I don't know. It's like, if they ever do say anything about it, it would probably be in a random stream that I wouldn't watch. I just remembered I have a photo of the smashed-in window of that car. Yes, you do. I could, uh, I could show that if in s there was a bagel. Let me, uh, let me find that. My favorite part of all of this was that instead of just opening the door through the clearly smashed open window, they crawled through the broken glass yeah. to get into the car. <laughs> yeah. Here, hold on. Here's the, uh, here's the photo. <laughs> it was pretty good. <laughs> like, what the fuck were these people doing? I have no idea. I still like, uh, we heard what might be a muffled gunshot, and I'm like, okay, and why are you still there? <laughs> like, cause it's fun. This is fine. Uh, anybody got any ideas what I should be doing here? <laughs> I honestly have no idea. This is something that I could potentially just play more of on my own, but I think I'm at the point where I kind of just want to be done. Um, I've wandered about this place for a while, and it's apparently still level A, which I don't understand, but we'll go with that. And, yeah. Use a pun to get the key that's guarded. Oh, god damn it, that is true. Okay, well now that I have a solution, I have to go do it. <laughs> You weren't supposed to actually answer. This is now the second time we've had a false end to the stream, so I'm waiting for... Eh, it, it's not... There's not that much stream lag. If there was a uh, significant amount of stream lag, then I would probably have, like, a bunch of comments like, Okay, bye, see you next time, and it's like, oh, we're still going. I could leave the bomb at the entrance, this is true. I should do that. Seven pineapples. So here's the important question. Uh, since you don't like pizza, what is your opinion of pineapple on pizza? Mm, you do you? <laughs> this is That's... the correct answer. I don't understand the pineapple on pizza thing. By which I mean I don't understand the people who have, like, a hate boner over it. Hate boner? Yeah. It's, it's a medical term. <laughs> I, I don't think so. Where was the... Where was that one thing? It wasn't this way. Yeah, because... Okay. And now I'm stuck. Dead on balls accurate. Help me. I'm on the Lush website. Oh god. <laughs> I know you're not getting off that thing without spending at least 80 bucks. Not 80. I just want a couple of things. I can't go anywhere, so let me do this. I mean, I'm not stopping you. But you should. I don't think I'm capable of stopping you. <laughs> Unless... Where was that place, anyway? 
somewhere. Everything's like somewhere, man. This was uh, not the bathroom. I like how the music resets when you come out of the passageway. That's good. Where the fuck do I go? Where in the fuck is Carmel and San Diego? Help, how do you rotate text in MS Paint? Same. Do I have 10 charisma? Because I think 10 is average, and I'm pretty sure I'm probably below average. Okay, no, that got, didn't like, work. Two. I wonder my, what my real life scores would be. I know, run straight up. What the fuck? Apparently that's a thing. Okay, well this is going to kill me, but I'm gonna do it anyway because I'm stupid, so... Oh, no, it worked. How do I get out? <laughs> like that. Okay. Alright, now we get to go all the way back to 55. Room where he kept getting pushed back and I had to leave because of the bomb. What room was that? I don't remember which one you mean. But I have a key now, so I can open that one door if I can remember how to get to that door, which I don't. I would like these hearts. I would like them here. Uh, I've gotten through that screen. In fact, that's where I'm probably going next. Why did I go up? I, I, I intended on going down and just kind of didn't. Okay, is opening this door going to make all my dreams come true? Unsurprisingly, it did not. I love how Epona is just a thing. From Sweet, Fireball. I don't have to pay shipping. What did you buy? Stop. <laughs> oh! This level's still going! It was not $80. Hmm. Okay. Where's my card? <laughs> I liked the I liked the soft stuff. It was good. Just stuff. <laughs> God damn it, Brock! Shut up, Misty! <laughs> <laughs> oh God! <laughs> What's the context to that? Um, I believe I think that was the episode where they were in like the Magnemite place and. uh the Mock and Grimer were attacking them, and Misty was just like, Ah, oh, that smells! And they're like, SHUT UP, MISTY! <laughs> because they didn't want to piss off the toxic Pokémon by saying that they smelled. Hmm. I'm surprised I still remember that. Well, you remembered the Pika power source. Pika Pika Choo Choo! Pika Pika Choo Choo! We've got our very own Pika Power Source. Well done. Wow, look at all the Pikachu! No, that's enough idea. <laughs> okay. 
However, I will We add... have a drive through you know. <laughs> At a hospital? I'm sorry, I'll stop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, uh, oh, I can pick up fire. Good. Um, <laughs> I will uh, provide my own Pokemon quotes that are not actually quotes with the usual, uh, this balloon is so slow, they're walking faster than us. Okay, <laughs> how- oh, are these breakable with horse? Yes, they are. Excuse me. Oh. I like how ramming into things makes the shutters opening noise. If it weren't for my horse, I would have never spent that year in college. I bought a, uh, a, a solid perfume that I wa have wanted for quite a while, because... Well, you know what I'm going to have I... to ask now. What? What is a solid perfume? Um... I, I, I don't... I, I don't know how to explain it. Is it, like, just a block that you rub all over yourself? Well, like... no... You... Ugh, oh. Kind of. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. Well, you have three seconds. Mm. <laughs> That's soap. <laughs> have you ever heard I of... I put a lush ban on myself until April. <laughs> I broke. It's fine because it, it because it, it is. So here's the thing, I've never actually gotten actual bombs in this playthrough, and I'm pretty sure the duck hunt bomb is supposed to just be like an optional thing that you can use and is never required. So I don't know how I was supposed to progress through uh, certain parts of this game. It's not so Oh no. Can I use hammers on you? This is a uh, interesting boss. It's a interesting boss. Society isn't ending. We'll be fine. Alright, well now that I have two of the Chaos Emeralds from level A specifically, I don't know why it had two of them. Um, I have enough hearts to go get the uh, upgraded wand thing in the top left corner of the overworld, but uh, that is a good place for me to stop playing, I'm thinking. So, this has been a uh, stream that existed purely so that we could hear the... Uh, the story of last night's adventure, and I uh, have shown off a quest that is fairly interesting. I, uh, I I do still think this was actually like well made and like has a lot of cool features. It's just again the exploration is kind of not great for streaming, but um yeah, I think we're just gonna kind of be done here. So, uh, I will stream in another six weeks, and the game that we will stream <laughs> will be something involving, like, ponies, I don't know. I like that Kiff missed the adventure. <laughs> but yeah, bye.